Hello viewers, welcome back to our Jadema class. We want to simplify this root 5 minus root 21. We've done something similar to this in our previous video. You can check some of my video on sod. So the first thing we need to do here for us to do this is to introduce root a minus root b. This will help us to get the solution for it. And remember that the condition is that our a must be greater than b, where also my b must be greater than 0. So please don't forget this condition. So the next thing for us to do is to square both sides. And squaring both sides, we're going to have 5 minus root 21 equal root a minus root b all squared. So here I'm going to have 5 minus root 21 equal root a squared is going to be a um, minus root 2 root a b plus b. Okay, so with this, I'm going to have 5 minus root 21 equal a plus b. Now, taking the 2 in the root, so it's going to be 4 a b root 4 a b don't forget that the square root of 4 is the same thing as 2 so the next nice thing for us to do is to equate the like terms now looking at this we can see that a plus b is the same thing can be equate to 5 also root 4 a b can be equated to what to 21 so I'm going to have a plus b equal 5. So you can call that your equation 1. And also, root 4ab equal root 21. So I can call that my equation 2. Okay? Now, simplifying this equation 2. By squaring both sides, so here I can have root 4ab squared equals to square root of 21 squared. So this is going to give me 4ab equals 21. So now using this method, the method below. Yeah, which is a minus b squared is the same thing as a plus b squared minus 4ab. Okay, so we're going to use this. And by using this, we're going to have that our a minus b all squared equal don't forget that a plus b is the same thing as 5 so we're gonna have 5 squared minus 4 a b is the same thing as 21 so this is the same thing as saying 25 minus 21 which is 4 so a minus b by taking square root of both sides is going to be 2 okay so, we have a new equation. Let me just call that equation 3, which is a minus b equals to 2 can be my what? Equation 3. And um, combining these with our equation 1, which is a plus b, which is the same thing as 5. Okay, so we can just do the normal linear simultaneous equation from this. So, using the elimination approach, So here we can have adding both sides together 2a equals to 7. So from here, a can be the same thing as 7 over 2. So plugging in a to be 7 over 2 in equation 1, we can also have our b to be equals to 3 over 2. And um, 
don't forget that we are interested in root a minus root b okay this must be the same thing as square root of a minus square root of b so what we just need to do now is to get the roots of a and b so square root of a which is going to be root 7 over root 2 and the square root of b which is going to be root 3 over root 2 okay so root a minus root b this is going to give us root 7 over root 2 minus root 3 over root 2 and um, this is the same thing as root 7 minus root 3 over root 2 don't forget that we are having root as our denominator so there's a need for us to rationalize so by doing that we're going to multiply both numerator and denominator by root 2 so we're going to have square root of 14 minus square root of 6 over 2 so finally I have root 5 minus root 21 to be equal to root 14 minus root 6 over 2. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time. Thank you.